Hey guys, um, here to do another shaving video. It's been like a day and a half since I shaved. Like I shaved, when was it? Um, Sunday evening or whatever. Skipped Monday. I was doing daily shaves, but uh, I was pretty harsh on my neck. Like I could still get a good shave, but I ended up with a little irritation. So I'm trying to do every other day. We're going to see how that works out. Today I'm going to be using this guy again, the Mongoose on the Magard MR5 handle. I'm just switching up the handle because, you know, it's nice to use a different handle. And I'm going to be using How to Grow a Mustache Synergy and that is blooming. It's been blooming since I showered. So, should be good to go. Um, and today I'm using a different brush that I normally use. It's an Omega. That's this big guy. It's probably the biggest brush I have. I have a bore and another um, another bat or another bore and a badger and this bore. I'm just gonna start lowering the puck. I might suck at loading this because I normally use a badger or a, yeah badger hair brush, but already I got a pretty good lather going on the puck already, so it shouldn't be too difficult, and I only need enough for my neck. I'm just gonna take whatever I got here. Probably gonna do a two pass touch-ups. I could change, depending on how I feel. Uh, so, rinse off my hands there. Um, so I got a different setup going. I'm doing the camera behind me. Usually I just have my phone set up up here somewhere with one of those car attachments. I just decided to actually use my camcorder and see if I can get something better going. It's kind of hard. I have a tiny bathroom. But we'll see. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like this setup better than the right in my face setup that I normally do with my phone. Um, and if it's if this is better to you guys, I might always continue doing this. It's kind of a pain to set it up, but hey, it's all about you guys. Okay, first pass. I'm just going to go up. And I'm sorry about the noise. I like to rinse my razor as I go because I don't like a big mess to clean up after I'm done having a relaxing shave. I kind of just want to go sit down and relax after a shave. So, I'm going to be ordering some soapy bath man from Chris soon. I hope that it's awesome soap. I've heard great things. Um, I haven't really ventured much into artisan soaps. Like I think the only artisan soaps I have are Razor Rock, um, uh, Z Peppino, and the Cavendish. Other than that, it's all Parasso and Arco and I have some brass white and green. I got a pack of Wilkinson sword. And yeah. Not too much. Let's 
So far, I love, you know, I love the how they grow a mustache. Because these these cap, you know, I keep hearing like, oh, it's so slick, whatever, but like it's good, it goes on thick, but once it's gone, I just don't find it so slick. Maybe that's due to me. Maybe I don't get it wet enough or get it too wet. I'm not really sure. Um, it just feels like that, you know, like that squeaky clean feeling you get with bar soap. That's kind of what I get with it. Mongoose is awesome so far. I'm loving it. I don't know if you guys have seen, if you guys haven't seen this, I'll give you a little close up on the head. And give you an idea of the blade exposure. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty good. Cut myself on my abs up, I'll cut myself there. I'm just doing a bang up job. I always get myself on my abs apple. I got pretty big abs apple. It's so annoying to shave. I have to stretch the skin this way. It's good to stretch the skin that way. Um, I find what helps a lot is if you swallow and hold it. And then the stretching with that. You can normally get it pretty good. Pretty close so far. Yeah, click here. Oh, well, um, might try it against the grain, which is sideways for me. My hair kind of grows out this way and then down this way on the sideburns goes down here's kind of out here kind of sprawls up there this right here is kind of all over the place I just do whatever I picked a bad time to buy this mongoose because I decided it was going to shave to the no shave December. No, I was actually not going to shave. I wasn't even going to shave my neck or anything. I was just going to let it go, but I couldn't resist not using this thing for a whole month after spending almost two hundred dollars on on it. Uh, I would have just been ridiculous, and I don't think I could have done it. That's pretty good. I always miss a few on my abs apple, but I don't get them. I don't get them. No. A big deal. That's my shave of the day.
Feels good. No, no irritation. I nicked myself a couple times, but um, probably just gonna go with uh, maybe axe sensitive for post bomb and um, I forget what the name of my day rum aftershave is, but it's let me go get it. <laughs> So, uh, Booster Bay Rum. It's good stuff. It doesn't have the greatest scent. Um, the Island Bay Rum is what I expected. This is the one that I was talking about that I was hoping would smell like um, the Taconic. But it ended up not smelling anything like that. And I was a little disappointed. It smelled good. It has. I don't know what's in it, but it gives an awesome post-shave feel. Like, there must be some oils in it or something. Maybe glycerin. Because it feels good. Nice and slick on the skin. It doesn't feel dry. And I, don't, I don't know if any of you guys like this stuff. The Axe Sensitive is probably one of my favorite. It's... Some of my post shaves give kind of stinging feel, but this doesn't give any, and that's very. So, that's it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. There should be some more videos coming up. Um, I'm hoping maybe on the weekend to get a, like a Watch In My Shave Dan video like I was talking about my last video, so stay tuned.